Hi, Mark Savage here and welcome to my channel. Hopefully you've just been watching my light bike videos. They're just simple questions I get asked an awful lot and I've tried to do short two, three minute videos. Just completed Lexmoto 125. Now I have loads of 125s and loads and loads of 2T and 4T pegs. More 2T. This is a 2T. Quick look. Yeah. I know what you're thinking. It's a bug. An ugly bug. Bandit. And I'm not sure that's... Well, I don't know. Anyway, a bandit bug. And I found out it is a bandit bug. 50cc. Huge, massive, chunky tyres. They rather rubbed that bandit again. This is a 2001. These are not made in the UK. And the only spec I can get is... It's Australian, mate. Okay, that's enough of that. Thank you. Kickstart. Very out of system as usual. Another big, chunky tyre. Now, unusual, a nice Technics exhaust. Clocks, well, pretty standard. In kilometres, with 6,500. It's like 5,000 miles in this little baby. Normal brake, indicators, electric and light. Kill switch, lights, start. And rear brake, vice versa. Fuel gauge, good old Australians. Oil light, two T's, that must be there. High beam and indicators. And that's all you need to know. Now, I got this off the same guy that I've just done the last video of the XRT125 Lexmoto. And that was the crappy petrol. Watch that video, see what I'm saying. So, this started on the button. And then it ran for a little while and then sort of eh, eh, and died. Won't start again. So I'm thinking, do you reckon he put the same crappy petrol on all these bikes? That's what I'm reckoning. So I'm gonna suck out some of the petrol and see what mess we have in there. And this is gonna be like I always say, take off all the panels. I didn't want to, but I'm gonna have to. So all the panels will come off. We'll have a look at the petrol and then clean the carburetor then and then panels back on and so on and so forth. It's got a long MOT on this. I haven't got a real MOT. And to be honest with you, everything works, except it not running. That was now. So. Sports exhaust, I mentioned the sports exhaust. Now I did say, he said he put a 70 kit on here. If you watch my videos about not doing that, yeah. Now, I've been told that's 45 mile an hour, standard is do 30 and that's it. So 45 is a massive increase really, if it was being done. And I'm gonna check it out. I've gotta check it out, I'll get the carb off. Clean the air filter and so on now. Let's check the petrol, let's have a look. So I don't get too much petrol in my mouth. A longer one than last time and I can see the petrol coming up. Would you like to see what I sucked out so far? Sounds wrong, I know. Um, yeah. All them black crappy bits are not supposed to be in there. Again, this was clean. And can you see a little tinge of pink in there? So it's pre-mixed. It's put pre-mixed petrol in there. Now I've got to see in here is 2T. Either he didn't know that was there, or it's not working, but it's got oil in it. So now I'm going to have to put fresh fuel in there, take all the panels off, clean the carburetor, check it all out. Then now, then I've got to see start it and see whether the pump's working for the oil pump. And the only way you can do that is while the engine's running, and then when you open them up, little spits of oil come out job done so it's not that hard to check if it's not working then you've got to pre-mix it but not with crap that's in there second i've got to do the whole lot haven't i i've got another two bikes as well i've got to drain the whole fuel out of all of them listen if you've got a ped or a little bike use fresh fuel don't drain out of one bike and put it into another bike that's clearly what's happened here they're running it doesn't run so you know that just added crap fuel. Petrol does not last forever if it's left in a moped or motorbike. It goes off. In warm weather as well, it can go all funny. Just doesn't, don't do it, okay? So if you've left the bike for a long while, that's taking all the uh, petrol out and starting again. So now I've got to take the panels off and loads more work. So join me in a minute when the bike looks a bit of a mess. I've said this before, you see something new every day. Seat out, back off easy. That's where the battery goes. So it's a bit odd, it sits inside and must have some sort of wrap over it. We don't see every day is, what the fuck? This was just taped in there. Oh, it's good. It was just taped in there with, with, with gaffer tape. 
I mean, God, no one did an electric start. I don't even know if it's got any acid in there. I'm going to take this off, check the wires out. Anyway, um, there's the carburetor. And there is the, that little bit there is the oil. So I'll be able to check whether it's pumping out. Air box is down there. You had to take these bits off to find it, didn't you? You know? Anyway, got to drain the rest of the fuel out of there. Let's get on with it. I just had to show you, I've never seen a battery so poorly done. Obviously, I'm going to have to make a bracket up and screw it in prop. But still good. Let's get on with these little bits then. He also said there's 70 kit. Um, does look quite new. Head looks reasonably new, doesn't it? Let's have a, an investigation anyway. Okay, battery, just tacky. Uh, had no acid in it whatsoever. It's dangerous, the wrong battery to put on its side, and bloody gaffer tape all over the place. Stupid. I just found something else that's stupid. Bloody fuel line. More gaffer tape around it, because they <sighs> This is petrol now. Next to a battery, that was badly wired in, could spark, who knows? And that was leaking. I mean, I really thought this was a simple job of tidying up. And I'm so glad now that I've taken the crappy petrol out, found the battery problem, and then this, you know? Come on. Just buy another piece of bloody... Don't... It's not even going in my bin. That is so dangerous and stupid. Get a new bit of pipe, for God's sake. That's just stupid. Anyway, it's the smelly. I'm now taking the carb off. And even this. The little gasket was wrapped round the other way. It wasn't even holding in. I'm just finding one thing after another. Fuel tap back on. Fuel's all out of it now. Anger moment over. Take the spark plug off next after I clean the carburetor out to get that carburetor turn upside down. Just like my carburetor videos. Done a short bites one of them. Done a short bites video just to tell you basics and around the outside will be all my good carburetor videos. So I'm not going to show you me cleaning this, but I'm going to have to, don't just drain it out. Because what happens, you'll drain it out, you put it all back together again and it will run sluggish to find out the bit of crap got through. So you might as well do a proper job in the first place. Upside down, take the jet out, clean it all up. Use carburetor spray. Let's get on with it after my rant. Stupid. So, bike all back together again. I was testing the old pump. It's been a short bike video. But let's see this, the actual pump working. And there we can see little tiny bits of oil dripping out of it, which means it's working. So let's pop that back on there like that. Make the bike happier. There we have a much, much happier. running bike. It's going to get some of the old crap out of the old exhaust because obviously he put 2T in the rear as well. I mean, too much 2T is not good and that was really bad petrol anyway. And there we go. Battery to sort out next. <coughs> Smoking. Anyway, well, I'm happy with that now. Air filter wasn't bolted in. That's now bolted in. Um, the cover on the fan is loose. I'm going to do that now. That bloody petrol cable, battery, um, yeah, it wasn't that bad if I wanted you getting the bits off. I didn't want to get so involved in it. I'm a lot, lot happier. I am going to check the belt and rollers next. Even this little lever here was jamming on, the back brake was stuck on. Do you know, if you're going to buy a second-hand bike, either buy it from someone that you know has cared for it, or done the service and can say they've done it, or you're happy to do it yourself. I've said this before, do not believe what people say. I've bought a bike before on Air Rocks, I always remember it, Stevenage. I went up there, cut the chavs outside, all tracksuit bottoms. I was doing wheelies in it last night, mate, and I'm thinking, well, that don't inform me of greatness. And I got it home, and I took the variator cover off, and there was not even a variator in there. And it was waterlogged, no belt, no roller, no variator, no clutch. Um, got to the head, took that off, and the piston was smashed to pieces. And it had been that way for some time. You know, uh, so that's why I don't believe in that. We're going to get a bit of cold weather here, down to three degrees tomorrow. Not looking forward to that on my bike. Anyway, right, let's get these little jobs done. And uh, job done, I'll quickly show you all back together and starting and stopping. And that's it.
What have we got now? We've got, put tools away. I've said this so many times, put the tools away. We have a butt ugly bike. <laughs> However, does it start? Just fit a lithium battery now. Success. Just got to put the little panel on now that covers a 2T oil. And this is a job done. Lithium battery, clean carb, flushed the petrol tank, changed the spark plug for a new one, had loads. With that spark plugs. Air filter now screwed in properly, the fan cover now screwed in properly, and all the panels now are on and secure, and now it doesn't rattle like a bitch. Just shows that when you first see something, you think that's fine, and then afterwards you realise it ain't fine at all, and this bike would have ground to a halt. To be honest with you, pretty dangerous. The levers now work fine, WD them up, brakes are really quite good on it, starts and stops. Happy days, 46 mile an hour, a little bit more. Um, belt's all right. Now, I'm not going to mess with the uh, rollers and belt. I'm actually quite happy with the way they are. I suppose if I change the rollers, i get a bit more pull away. But it's just not worth any more money now into this bike and time. The new owner can change the rollers if they wish to. I'm not going to. They're not square, but they're a bit light. So, uh, there you go. Job done. All I can say now is thank you so much for watching. Ped in the shed. <laughs> That's what I should call it. Ped in the shed. That's all that one done then. Uh, I'm not going to tie it up any more than it is. It looks quite nice as it is. I think you, you, there's so much you can do to them certain nowadays. I'm not going to bother. But it's all together. Fit that panel on, job done. Right, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll keep making them.